your eyes straight at the screen, then press the button. Imagine getting in your car, having it recognize your face, your line of sight has been registered, then having it let you know if your eyes aren't on the road. You will notice I can recognize where you look on the screen. We have an infrared camera okay. right here that monitors the driver's face and also the eyelid positions. So basically, oh, if so you, it's looking at me right now. Yeah, it's looking at you right now. This technology and much more was on display recently at the 15th World Congress on Intelligent Transport Systems in New York City, where vendors showed off their latest wares, from personal transport devices to robots that can recognize objects to road signs that collect and analyze traffic patterns. Among the shiny new hydrogen-powered cars, tractor trailers of the future, and driving simulators, one firm, telecom giant Alcatel Lucent, demonstrated its roadside camera system, already in place in the UK. It allows a central control room to monitor the traffic right across the UK. As part of that, we've added video analytics, which can count traffic, it can identify abandoned vehicles or vehicles that have uh, uh, been involved in a crash. The system uses about 4,500 cameras that cover more than 2,600 miles of roadway. You, you don't have one feed and one viewer. You, you have a true multicast network. So. That means a cop on the road, a traffic operator in the office, and a commuter at home can all watch the same camera and get the same info. The conference also showed off technology that would let cars communicate with each other and the roadway to alert drivers about traffic jams, suggest alternate routes, and to collect traffic signal information in advance in order to display a warning message and give an audio warning. And while we're already driving vehicles that use cameras to help you park and see what's behind you, what about ones that eliminate blind spots? So when you're in a, a, a freeway situation where you have let's say a motorcycle approaching, the system is always active. It'll detect the motorcycle on your blind spot area. So if you try to make a lane shift to the left, then the system will warn you with a vibrating seat or a sound or whatever the OEM manufacturer wants. Smarter roads and cars could mean fewer accidents, less congestion, and fewer emissions. You know, you're seeing a lot of great stuff here, but really this, this entire industry, I believe, is in its infancy. It's really not as mature as it, it will be in the next decade or two. The next World Congress on ITS takes place in Stockholm, Sweden in September 2009. For Discovery News, I'm Jorge Rivas.